Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. If you have been subscribing to our channel for a long time, you will notice that we have made several videos for the Anchor Game Prime series. And today we got a 65 watts game power strip also from Game Prime series. So let's go ahead and check its internal structure. This time, Anchor changed its packaging from black to white, flipped to the back, a few selling points of Anchor are printed on the top, and some specs info are printed on the side. Tear off the ceiling strip and open the box. It contains the power strip and some documents. The power strip adopts a wide round design and has a built-in power cord. The plug can be plugged into the outlet on the top, which is convenient for carrying around. There is a hidden slot under the rubber sleeve, so the power cord can be stored around the power strip. Two USB-C's, one USB-A and the AC outlet are on the top. The plastic sheets inside the USB ports are all anchor blue. Another AC outlet is on the button. Unwrap the power cord around it to see the specs info. Model is A9125. For the AC part, ready current and power can be up to 10 amp and 2500 watts respectively. The USB module can support input of 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 2 amp. The USB A can support up to 12 watts, while the USB C can support up to 65 watts. You can pause here to take a look. The size of the power strip is about 113 by 55 by 47 mm. The power cord length is about 88 cm. And the weight is about 330.5 grams. Connected to the ChargeLab Power ZKM002C, it shows the USB C1 supports QC 3.0, PD 3.0, PBS, FO 2.4A, Samsung 5 volts 2A protocols, and it also supports 4 fixed PDLs of 5 volts 3A, 9 volts 3A, 15 volts 3A, 20 volts 3.25A, and a set of PBS. Switching to USB C2, we can see the protocols and PDL info of those two ports are exactly the same. So you can use any USB-C port to get the maximum power. And the USB-A port supports Apple 2.4 Amp and Samsung 5 volts 2 Amp protocols. Next, we're going to take it apart to check its internal components and structure. Use the spotter to pry along the gap and remove the plastic cover. There are two screws to fix the panel. Unscrew these screws and remove the top cover. As you can see, the rubber sleeve and top cover are joined together. The AC module is on the left and the USB module is on the right. Remove the remaining screws and take out the internal module. The AC module is insulated with plastic shell and there is a piece of white film attached to the inner frame under the USB module for buffering. And the AC module is connected to the USB module by wires to provide power. The USB module is filled with silicon adhesives, which can insulate it from the Bratz heatsink by Mylar sheet. Remove the heatsink. The silicon adhesives can enhance heat dissipation as well as fix internal components to reduce falling damage. Clean off the USB module. First, let's introduce the USB module. It's composed of multiple small PCBs, making the size even smaller. The primary and secondary PCBs from the top and bottom are independent and insulated by a plastic bracket in the middle. And there are two small PCBs on top of the module for output. Tujulip found it adopts a QR flyback topology, and the secondary synchronous rectifier also adopts GAN technology to achieve the full GAN design. There are two independent synchronous box circuits for output, so you can use either of the USB-C boards to get the maximum 65 watts. Next, we'll take apart the PCBA module to introduce all components. The fuse, safety X2 capacitor, and common mode choke are on the back. The time delay fuse is insulated with heat shrinkable tube, 3.15 amp, 250 volts. And the safety X2 capacitor is from DGCX 0.15 microfarad. 
The Komomok Trogis went with magnets and insulated wires, and there are two dials under it. Two Pingwei bridge rectifiers are on the front of this small input PCB. They form a half bridge circuit to dissipate the heat evenly, used to rectify AC into a pulse to DC. 3 amp, 1000 volts. Moving on to the primary PCB of USB module, four electrolytic capacitors are from Yongming. Three of them are 33 microfarad, 400 volts. The remaining one is 22 microfarad, 400 volts. So 121 microfarad in total. And the differential mode choke is wound with an I-shaped magnetic core and is insulated with a heat shrinkable tube. This primary controller is actually a GNIC from Thaos chip and adopts QFN 6x8 package. The tiny capacitor that powers the primary controller is from Enshi, 50 volts, 10 microfarad. Here is the transformer. Next, this SMDY capacitor is on a small output PCB from TRX. An optocoupler is below it, used for output voltage feedback. Then we have the secondary BAC PCB for output. Those two slots next to the USB-A correspond to two small PCBs of USB-C. The BAC converter, synchronous rectifier controller, and a current protection chip are on the back. The synchronous rectifier controller is from South Chip, and it supports turn-on detection and fast turn-off. The synchronous rectifier is actually a gain power transistor from InnoScience. It features low gate charge and ultra-low on resistance. 150 volts, 7 milliohm. These two solid capacitors for output filtering are from Yongming MPT series. They are connected in parallel, 560 microfarad, 25 volts. And those two small output PCBs are exactly the same. The BAC MOSFET, USB-C connector, and output filter capacitor are on the front. The BAC inductor and charging chip are on the back. This is a highly integrated multi-protocol charging chip from iSmartWare, used for BAC output. Those two BAC MOSFETs are from AOS and adopt DFN 3x3 package, 30 volts, 4.1 milliohm. And the BAC inductor is insulated with heat shrinkable tube. The solid capacitor for output filtering is from Yongming MPT series and is insulated with heat resistant tape, 220 microfarad, 25 volts. The output VBUS MOSFET is the same model as the BAC MOSFET but with different functions. A Y capacitor is connected between two USB-C connectors. The USB-C connector is anchor blue. Back to USB-A. The synchronous bar converter for USB-A is from Toll Microelectronic and integrates MOSFET. It supports 30 volts input and up to 3.5 amp output. This is the solid capacitor for input filtering, 220 microfarad, 25 volts. Another solid capacitor for output filtering is here, 220 microfarad, 10 volts. The buck inductor for USB-A is also insulated with a heat shrinkable tube. This current limiting IC of the USB-A is from Cellwise. It's used for automatic identification and short circuit protection. The USB-A connector is also in anchor blue. Finally, the 32-bit high-performance MCU is from ASOFT, which integrates an M0 core and ADC. It's used for internal temperature detection protection and adopts a QFN32 package. Is also used to distribute the power of each board automatically. Well, that's all components of this Anchor 65 watts GAN power strip from GAN Prime series. The mini design and impressive way to store the power cord can improve desktop utilization. After taking apart, we found the internal layout is pretty compact, and the mini design is achieved by six tightly stacked PCBs. Also, the full GAN design gives it a high switching frequency for better performance. Okay, that's all for today's video. Feel free to click the comments to check the teardown of other Game Prime products. Please drop a like, leave your comments, and subscribe to us. See you in the next video. Bye!